Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's been a pretty quiet couple of days, especially as far as the short-term um, interest rate markets have been going the last couple of days. Um, that's probably on the back of the fact that it was a US holiday yesterday and probably not many of the people back on their desk today. And also the fact that there's not much news to really drive it one way or the other, apart from the usual um, will they or won't they in Europe, turmoil in Greece with the Chancellor Merkel coming around, um, you know, present there. But other than that, really, there's not really much impetus really pushing things one way or the other. But the earnings season starts to kick off um, from today, so that should be a catalyst for some type of moves, especially in stocks. But as far as the short end is concerned, um, it's been pretty flat recently and it's probably going to stay like that for quite a while until something materially changes in terms of the outlooks of central banks or something like that. But first, um, let's have a look at the Bund, which is right now trading near the high of the day, 141.46. And as you can see on a 60 minute chart, lately we've just been trading in a pretty narrow range, slight downward trend going, um, going on here after the big move after the move up we had all the way from 138.42 as you can see we've just been trading a small type smallish range relative to the range that we've had before and um, right now we're trading towards the um, top of that range so be looking it's actually bounced off the top of that range which is 141.57 um, and we sort of came off a little bit and now we're sort of coming close to testing it again so I'll be looking to sort of short this around this type of level unless I start seeing volume really go push up as we get up to this type of level then we sort of suggest that we might actually break out from this slightly downward sloping range and if we do break out then I'd sort of expect it to start testing 141.93 which is the high of um, where we got at the beginning end of couple of weeks ago which was 28th of September so the 28th of September high at 141.93 so that's what I've been looking for but right now judging by the way the market is and there's no real impetus here or there we're probably looking to short it coming coming down um, taking it to the mid 140s really and I think that would probably be good value good value short with a low risk to reward with a stop maybe 15 20 ticks above if we see the Bund before, from August we've actually had this big move down and that was on the back of ECB measures, calming fears in Europe, calming fears of countries going default like Spain and um, we had a pretty big move down and as you can see the bars, the volume and um, the price bars are pretty long which shows the volatilities that we had in, that, uh, in those days and we moved as low as 138.42 which is you know, much lower than I think many people are expecting, probably caught quite a few people out as well, as probably there's a lot of liquidation of positions in that move down. But then since then, as you'd sort of expect, um, we've slowly gone back up. It's been a bit more like a stealth type of rally, where we, as you can see the bars are really small, with really small ranges, 30, 40, 50 tick ranges in a day. And we've slowly just been moving up, and now we're close to about... 40 50 ticks from where we were in July I mean end of August so and then since we've actually reached almost the 142 handle we've just been trading slowly sideways and again you know unless there's a real catalyst to push it above this you know I think we're going to probably continue to go sideways just drifting um, until yeah until then unless we have any more major news out of the EU or the Fed or we start getting some really bad earnings numbers out of the US which sort of suggests that the economy is faltering in all aspects and even company profits are being um, affected. So um, going to the short end now and looking at the TED spread, that again is sort of mimicked the boom in terms of the way it's been moving lately. And over the past week, week and a bit, we've just been trading this very narrow range days. As you can see, each cluster is only about a tick, tick and a half big. 
and so it's been very difficult to actually make anything even in Uribor spreads, short sterling spreads, the ranges have been super tight. So over the last few few days, it's actually been very difficult to um, make anything. But I'll bring this up right now because we sort of come to the top of this range that we've had um, from the last two weeks, which I think is probably a good value short as, w as, short as well, around 88.90. So I think this could be a good move back down towards the mid one at mid 88 85s 84s and I think um, but if we do break it if it goes 92 92 and a half then I'll probably look to get out and then look to reshort again around 96 and a half 97 and short the the previous high that we got um, about three weeks ago on 24th September so looking at this I think this would be worth a couple of ticks here so I'm sort of in right now at 89 and a half and um, currently about half a tick on side, but just waiting, waiting for a little bit. Just doing a small size again because you know there is a chance that it could break out to the upside on any type of news event or comment from ECB or any other federal um, central bank um, officials. Again, if we look, if we look back at the TED spread as well, um, it's been a pretty wild, volatile, volatile ride. Um, from from the from the beginning of September, we've actually rallied quite a lot, as you would expect, with the um, steepening in the yield curve. We've actually <clears throat> gone from eighty eight sixty three all the way to eighty eight ninety seven. So that's a good um, thirty seven point thirty five point move over there, and that's also been aided by the, the strength of the Euribor contract, which has been pushing this up as um, the credit quality of the Euribor um, has improved with these ECB measures and so relative to the SHATs, um, you know, it has moved up which is what you would expect on moves which are supposed to um, guard the s sovereignty of countries and banks and such things. So um, going forward, like I was saying, looking to go short over here and um, but with a lot of these positions lately, a lot of the trading in the short end has been multi-day holds. It's very hard to day trade it. So it's going to be one of those that you just hold it over a couple of days and just hope for the best, really, and hope it comes down. And, you know, just position yourself wisely, look for extremes, and then take it from there. But until next time, um, good luck with your trading. Hopefully the market picks up a bit more, especially for the short end. And um, do another update then.